Well, the search continues for a missing mother in Aiken County, and several incident reports suggest a pattern of domestic. 30-year-old Jamila Smith disappeared after a disturbing 911 call, reporting her ex-boyfriend Daniel Harmon's presence. He was later arrested for kidnapping and domestic violence, but the search for Smith continues. She would call me uh, upset. She, you know, we, we would see her with bruises. You know, it, it, was, it was just very obvious. It was, it was known. Harmon, dressed in red, both hands and feet in shackles, couldn't sit still as Smith's father spoke. It's hard every day. I see you, but I do not see my daughter. I get the call, and you don't know how hard it hurts me. I'm telling you, man, I need to see my baby. That's all I'm asking for. Since I first reported on the disappearance of Jamila Smith on December 2nd, 2023, the case has had some major developments. Alongside her child's father, there have been two more arrested in the involvement of the unaliving of 30-year-old Jamila. Authorities say Daniel Harmon likely unalived Jamila on the evening of December 2nd after a DV altercation. Daniel was taken into custody on December 5th, 2023 on an earlier warrant for DV which was documented in heartbreaking photos taken by Jamila that she sent to the sheriff's office before she disappeared. Later in the missing person investigation, officers ended up charging Daniel with napping and unaliving. From what I gathered, Daniel still never admitted to knowing what happened to Jamila even after his arrest. While he has been sitting in jail since December 2023, two more people have joined the prime suspect as accessories after the fact, one being Brian Alexander Hampton Jr., 35 of Augusta, Georgia, who was also the cousin of Daniel. Brian turned himself in on April 19, 2024, after finding out he was being sought after. However, during his initial court appearance, Brian profusely proclaimed his innocence. I have nothing to do with this now. I promise. On Saturday morning, Brian Hampton telling an Aiken County judge he's an innocent man. He was visibly nervous and pleading with the judge to grant him bail, telling her he had nothing to do with the death and disappearance of Jamila Smith. Hampton is accused of being an accessory after the fact and could face up to 15 years in jail. Kimberly Kite of the Broken Link Foundation is working with Smith's family, believes Hampton knows more than he's saying about Smith's accused Daniel Harmon, who is being held without bail. Things that we've learned over the last four months is he was considered Daniel Harmon's right hand. Brian Hampton was denied bail and is due back in court on June 21st. Jamila's mother would speak out to the local news and said that she was basically even more sad because she knew Brian and his entire family. However, she also was not surprised because when Jamila first went missing, Daniel and Brian's family allegedly did not help look for her or pick up telephone calls about her. On December 2nd, McCraw says her daughter was on the way to Columbia from Aiken, but she never made it. On the way there, something had transpired and we found out that Daniel was in the car with her. He apparently was knocked out on something. He threw her phone out of the car. So she had called us from his phone. She was planning her escape out. She really was. And I believe he knew that. And that's why he had her come back. Last July, McCraw says she learned Harmon was her daughter. So family brought Jamila and her children to Florida. However, McCraw says Jamila eventually went back to Harmon. Though at the time of her disappearance, she had ended the relationship and was back in Aiken County retrieving the rest of her items. Authorities allege that Brian helped Daniel by getting him transportation and purchasing of cell phones. Brian is also accused of helping dispose of Jamila's remains, according to the arrest warrant. Then, on Thursday, May 2nd, 2024, reported documents stated that authorities arrested a third suspect, 46-year-old Clyde Henley of Bath, South Carolina. He is accused of aiding Daniel in disposing of the evidence related to Jamila's unaliving. Clyde was apprehended after investigators executed a search warrant at his residence on Front Street. He faces charges of accessory after the fact. According to the Aikens County Public Records, Clyde was already out on bail for several felony charges he got in 2021 
including moving illegal substances and possession of a weapon during a crime. After all three men were in custody, authorities announced on Thursday, May 9th, that they found the remains of the 30-year-old mother of two. Jamila was found in the 2100 block of Silver Bluff Road, about 15 minutes away from where she was when she called 911 back in December and disappeared. When the medical examiner conducted the autopsy on Jamila, it would be determined that she was shot in the head and unalive. So sadly, it appears when Jamila was on the 911 call and Daniel hit her with the car, he then caused the call to drop and then took her life shooting her. An autopsy indicates she was shot several times in the head. The results of that autopsy coming days after her remains were found in Aiken County. Authorities found her remains in this wooded area along Silver Bluff Road in Aiken County. Now, the discovery came five months after the mother was reported missing. The 30-year-old mother of two was last heard on a 911 call yelling at her estranged boyfriend, Daniel Harmon, after dispatchers believe he ran her over with the car. I am so glad that her remains were found to help her family finally get some closure and lay her to rest. What Daniel is to have alleged done to her over the course of their relationship is so heartbreaking. I just pray that justice be served for all involved when they have their day in court. So please don't forget to comment your thoughts and prayers for this family in their difficult time. And also hit that like button and share to make your people aware. And as always, remember to stay woke. Things change quickly.